What up, YouTube? It's your boy, BB Stasno Heel. In Madden 22, for our first ever game here in the Houston Gardens franchise. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back, watch the previous episode. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to try to post these at least ev once every week. I don't know, but that's going to be my goal. But we got the Jets, so hopefully this is going to be an easy one. Sorry, I accidentally did do the uh, the, the scouting, or like the weekly training thing. I think that's what it's called. I don't call, know what it's called, but I accidentally did that without you all this week. Next week, I'll do that with you all. Um, so, yeah, uh, we got the Jets, and let's go on and get into this game. Here we go. I think his name's Jack Fox for the first kick. In the opening season for the Gunners. As the kick is now off into the air. The Jets are going to more than most likely take the knee as they do. And let's go on and get ready for Zach Wilson. Here we go with the Zach Wilson show and the Jets. Ooh, this feels good. Keanu O'Neal. Okay. Oh, and, well, Zach Wilson, you are not having a good start to the season. But Keanu Neal is, who is always breaking tackles. Let's go. First play interception for Keanu Neal. So with me playing the offseason game, I mean the preseason games, I did decide to stick with Jared Goff. Um, I think that this will be okay for us. And if he does mess up, we always do have Nick to back him up. But we're going to win an OPO that goes straight to DeAndre Swift and to probably get sealed. Okay, offensive line. Offensive line not blocking. I think they're still in the preseason action. Here we go. Joe Golf play action early into the game. But, whew. Don't know who Joe Golf was going to there, but got hit as he was throwing it. And we got to hope that we can get a force down here. Here we go. 39, not trying to go a quick three and out with tremendous field positioning. And Joe Goff just throws that ball away, and we will take a field goal here. Here we go, and the field goal is up. And the field goal is missed off of the... Oh, wow. As the field goal is off, Youngway Koo missed the field goal. Literally bounced off of... Wow. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So... The game's going to say 0-0. Zero, zero. Our offense just threw away good field positioning there. But hey, that, that happens sometimes. And Corey Davis goes deep, but I think Jordan Lewis may have caused a pass interference. And yes, he did. Well, this is not looking good for us. Um, Our first drive on defense was strong. Keanu O'Neal, ooh, almost got the tackle as Raheem Mostert gets. Raheem Mostert is really, really fast, I do have to say. I have him in another franchise. We have this trick play with him. I didn't even know that he was that fast. He has 97 speed, and that's going to maybe kill our defense. But five wide, go straight to the tight end. And that was to David Njoku, Njoku who is a yard short of the end zone. Here we go. Goal line defense. This game's moving a little fast pace. Here we go. Second and inches. They hand the ball off and they do get the touchdown with Raheem Mostert. Okay, here we go. With Now we need to do something on offense. We were down. We only got one rushing yard and I think that was the only thing that we was able to do. This time we do get three on the one there, but we got to do way more than we did last time. You go Jiro Golf running play action. And hits our first round pick, George Pickens, who will have his first recorded NFL catch right there. Here we go, first and ten at the midfield mark. The ball does go to DeAndre Swift, who does find a hole, gets it to the secondary, and then gets brought down by the safety. DeAndre Swift. This man is more than most likely going to be one of the focal points of this offense. Golf hits Antonio Brown, an old-timer who we think can really spoke this team, maybe. 
Gotta hope that we can go back to his Pittsburgh self and not his Oakland self, but... Hey, it's Antonio Brown at the end of the day. Here we go, slants. Pressure gets the ball to George Pickens. You, you gotta be loving this right now. Moving down the field, making small plays. Here we go as he drops back once again. Gives the ball to DeAndre Swift. And then gets down four yards short of the first down marker. Here we go now with Leonard Fournette in the game. As the ball does go to him. Leonard Fournette b breaks one tackle but then gets brought down by Quinn Williams. And he was a yard short. But, you know... I think that we should give the ball right back to him and uh, let him get this first down for us. Ooh! He got hit, and I mean hit hard there. Mm. That was a little scary. But we are going to give the ball right back to Leonard Fournette, and he gets us three yards closer to the end zone. All right, here we go. Second and goal from our three-yard line. The ball does go to DeAndre Swift, who tried to find a hole, but that linebacker is just there to stop him right at the gap. All right, here we go. Third and goal from the three. Five wide. And no, what was that, Jared? Jerry just overthrew a wide open TJ Hawkinson for a pick from JC Jackson. Oh, okay, Jared. Well, your starting spot isn't looking too good. And there goes Zach Wilson going to Corey Davis. Hope of Zach Wilson going to Corey Davis right there for a gain of nine. We gotta hope that we can maybe do something here on defense. Where he most gets it, doesn't get too far, but it's, uh, they did get the full sound. Here we go in the start of the second quarter. Ball goes to where he most who gets a gain of five. All right, here we go. We need to do something here on defense. They are now just running the ball down our throats. As the ball went to David Njoku, but just bounces off the shoulder pad, I guess. But here we go. Third and five. We need a stop here. And he had a wide open man. Jameson Crowder finally gets brought down at the six yard line. Ooh, this is not looking good for us. As we try to bring pressure, but that did not affect him at all. And Zach Wilson gets another touchdown. Here we go with our offense coming out here. Jerry Goff needs to step it up. We had the ball in the red zone twice, and we've came up empty both times. One of the mess missed field goal. Jerry Goff goes deep and overthrows George Pickens. Oh, okay. So truly, right now, the only thing that we have working for us is the running game, and the passing game has been on and off. Here we go. DeAndre Swift fighting for the extra yard. You love to see it right there. And, whoop, well, I only feel comfortable truly running the ball in this situation. So that is what's about to happen. DeAndre Swift gets the first down. And gets a little bit more before getting laid out by Whitehead. Here we go, Jared Goff making an audible. Oh, Jacob Pickett has his man beat. Get it there! And you overthrow him once again, Jared. Jared Goff overthrowing George Pickens once again on a deep route. As we do give the ball back to DeAndre Swift. And he's moving us as he needs to be doing. Leonard Fournette comes in. Meaning that we are going to be running the ball once again. Because I still don't trust Jared Goff. And we do get the first down playoff Lenny. Okay, here we go. We're going to pass here. Pressure is coming in. Jared Goff fumbles the ball. Penetral gets, oh god, that lineman should become a running back. And Jared Goff with his second turnover in the first half. 
Raheem Mostert, Raheem Mostert, I had a terrible dive animation there, but we, Raheem Mostert is taking ankles, but there was a flag, a legal block in the back, that's going to bring that right back. Okay, so it did bring them back a little bit, still first and seven, though. Come on, D, it would be nice if we could get another stop, maybe. As he do one a little end around, and Malik Coco no misses the tackle. Brian Poole misses the tackle. And finally, Alonzo finally brought him down after breaking two tackles. Yeah, okay. Now, I am a little afraid. <laughs> We've been able to do nothing. Geo Golf, I think, is wanting to be benched once again. But Wilson had pressure in his face, threw a bad ball to Keon O'Neal once again. Keon O'Neal has two interceptions in this first half. Wow, Keon O'Neal is was an amazing pickup for us in this offseason. As we do give the ball to Leon Fournette, who goes completely nowhere. Okay. Here we go, we are going to be passing kill. Jill Golf's scrambling out of the pocket again fumbles once again but luckily the ball does go out of bounds as he does get a gain of one there here we go as it looks like Joe Golf is going to be scrambling once again looking for TJ Hawks to block as he does and the ball comes out once again but luckily it goes out of bounds again okay well Jared is now I guess learning a little bit. What is good to know. As he does go to the outside to Antonio Brown. And that gets intercepted once again. Well, this is just not Jared's day. I'm thinking in the second half we may just put Nick in just to see what he can do. Alright, here we go as we pick you back up here in the second half. The Jets did score a touchdown. As we're all going to get the ball to return in the second half. Um... So we did make some changes. Uh, we did. Oh, we have an injured guy. That looks to be Leonard Fournette. Ooh. Well, yeah, as I was saying, we did put Nick in that quarterback since Chio Golf did have three turnovers in the first half. Um, yeah, but DeAndre Swift. That is somebody who's going to have to. Carry this team if we are going to keep nicking that quarterback in. Delano Fournette has a high ankle sprain. That is not the best of way to start this second half. I mean that we did not stretch him good enough during halftime, but hey. Here we go. Well, I mean, hey. His first throw is not bad to Antonio Brown for a first down. Handoff goes to DeAndre Swift, and 73 did not even attempt to block. He literally just shoved him into the running lane. Okay. Matt, that was nice to see from him. You know, really good effort there, bud. Here you go as he does go back to Antonio Brown, who stretches out for the first down, and he will get it. Looks like we were already seeing Keldon. I think that's his name. I forgot his name already. It's kind of sad. But I see that we are finding his favorite target. And, okay, throws the ball out of bounds. Looking for the roughing the passer flag, but doesn't get it. Not bad. I mean, we, we were moving down the field. Now, if we do get into the red zone, we just got to see if we will put points up on the board. DeAndre Swift gets the ball. Gets the first down. Here goes the ball. Just go to George. Had his man beat, but just could not get to the first down. I mean, to the end zone. Whew. Okay. I mean, I am glad that we were making major improvements from our last drives. That have all ended in turnovers. And DeAndre Shrift just pushing the pile as much as he can. Alright, here we go as the boulders go to Jefferson, who b breaks a tackle and is a yard short of the f end zone. Come on, offense. Let's put some points up on the board here. And DeAndre Swift is still short. We are going to go for it, because, I mean, why not at this point? 
We were on the one yard line. And he does get in. It took four attempts. But we finally get in. DeAndre Swift with the first touchdown of the season for the team. And Young Way Koo does make this field goal. 7 to 21. Good start to the second half. Uh, here we go. Mm. Coming out on defense for the first time in this half, and Zach Wilson is still the long bad thing. Is not came off the pedal from the first half. Here goes the ball is going to go to Ahim Mostert, who this time, and luckily does not break it big as he did last time. Here we go, first and ten. As they do give the ball right back to Raheem. Raheem gets, what, three yards there? Gets three yards there on the carry, making the second and three. As they give it right back to Raheem. But luckily, does get brought down quick and making this third and four. Here we go, third and four for our defense. Need a big stop here. Maybe we can get it. No, as the ball comes out on the ground and we do cover it, Deshaun Hand fell on the ball. I could not see who caused the fumble, but that is huge for us. Here you go. Ball goes to DeAndre Swift, stumbles on his own man, and I think we lost you. Yep, we lost you there. Okay, well, this is not how we should be starting off our drive here, but hey. Who knows? Ball does go to Antonio Brown. For the first down. There we go, baby. Let's try to score before the end of the third quarter. Here we go. Keldon hands the ball off to DeAndre Swift. Gets us to the five-yard line. Yeah, we won't be able to score. I mean, maybe. Let's see. Snap the ball with two seconds left. Keldon. Keldon's scrambling, and Keldon will get in for his first touchdown, and the touchdown we need to make this a one-score game. Here we go. Let's see if Young Goku can make this one. And Young Goku will split the upwatch with this. Here we go, baby. Going into the third quarter, only uh, fourth quarter, only a seven-point game. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go, defense. Our defense has been here for some of the game. They've been checked out some of the times. But, hey, who cares? McNeil getting there, stopping with he most or tackle for loss. That is amazing right there. Second and 11, maybe passing. Who knows what they do here? Now, as they do look to give the ball right back to Raheem most or, And he does get six yards, no, five yards there, making this... Third and six. Here we go. Big play here for this defense. Can they get off of the field? As they do hand the ball off. And most of it will be short of the first down Mokul. That's going to make this a fourth down. And the Jets will have to punt the ball away. Here we go with Antonio Brown to return. Antonio Brown gets us a little shy of the 35-yard line, and this is, and we will start with the ball on the 34. Okay, well, I feel confident with us on this drive. Since we've put Keldon in, we have scored two touchdowns. No turnovers. What happened? I just, uh, what's happening, Q? I threw the ball away. Oh, intentional, uh, no, not intentional guarding. Welfing the pass. Okay, I will so take that. I will so take that. Automatic force down. Here at the midfield mark. Ball does go to Antonio Brown. And he looks to be a yard or two short of the force down marker. Here we go. DeAndre Swift with the force down. Drive keeps on moving. And uh, we... We're about to enter the red zone. Come on, let's get into the red zone. Pressure coming from the backside, and Kelton just throws the ball away. Here we go. One can RPO heal. 
as the ball is going to go to DeAndre Swift, who cuts up, finds a little hole, and gets us five yards there. Here we go. DeAndre Swift's tired, but we need to go to him one more time here on this screen pass, maybe. He has the blockers, and he will maybe get the first down marker. They were going to say fourth and in inches. Fourth and in inches, we truly do not care. We are out here. We need to get the first down, running the ball up the middle, and he's going to be short. We had an inch to get, and we could not even get an inch. Wow. As a running play action here. He does go short to Corey Davis. And we need another stop here from this defense to keep us alive in this game. Here we go. Another pass. Nope. A pass to David and Joko. Not to Corey Davis right there. Okay. I mean, they're, they're moving. Not as much as I wanted them to. But it's all okay. Passing again. Go short again to David Njoku. Terrible dive. The hill once again by me. Here goes Rio. Going to start to enter the two-minute warning queue. As we do some pressure. Keanu O'Neill cannot bring down what he most or That would have been a big tackle for loss. If he could have got that. But he will not be able to. Two-minute warning has already came. And now they're just going to start running the ball. And we cannot stop with him most. Here we go. First and ten. As the ball does go back to him most. And we will burn our first time out of the second half. As the ball does go to. As the ball will go to him most. Who is short. And this will bring up a third down. Third and three. We need to get a stop here. Let them kick the field goal, I guess, was still not as good. And nope, we don't even stop him there. And well, this game like that is over. We cannot stop them, forcing the fourth down. And just like that, this game is over. We were bowling our last time out, but that doesn't matter. So they'll just take another knee. And well, with that happening, that was... Not the best from us, but I think we know who our future quarterback will be. I think I will give Jared another chance, though. Um, yeah, I think I'll give him another chance, but next game we will play against the Falcons. I will now start simming two weeks, just so I think it makes it more fail. Since, you know, it's not common that you see an undefeated team, especially a team that did not have a good year last year. But, yeah, with that happening, um, we will see you week four against the Falcons. I hope that you all did enjoy this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.